In this video, we'll be distorting our face using augmented reality in Lens Studio by Snapchat. There are four key ways to do this. The first of which is using face stretch. For face stretch, we'll go into objects panel. We'll go into face effects and we'll open face stretch and you will see we'll get a slider on your inspector panel and nice thing about face stretch that i i personally like is that you can layer uh different elements basically so how this works is you see these dots on the face here by manipulating these dots <laughs> you can manipulate the face structure so that's how it basically works and something that you need to keep in mind is whenever you are facing uh, sorry whenever you are stretching your face in a way that you are wishing it in any manner distort the background because what you're doing is you're taking away data from the screen so it needs data from somewhere else to fill in that space it's going to pull in pixels from the surrounding area so in my mind so keep that in mind when you are using face stretch basically <laughs> that is face stretch and about layering multiple components what you can do is instead of doing everything in one layer you can go into add feature and you can add more features to it for example like this or something like this right so what you can do is you can experiment by deactivating different layers so that allows you to have more control when you're using face stretch basically the second way to distort your face is by using liquify you go into face effects and click on face liquify <laughs> there you go yeah it comes up with two examples already set those are your eyes you can change the position by clicking on them to your nose to your mouth so yeah like that and you can control the radius the intensity of the liquefaction this is basically the fish eye effect you see um when you're editing so you can go for different positions here or you can just set them manually so that is your second one that is face liquify the third one is face inset this is basically taking one of the features of your face and then extracting them and then manipulating them as an individual component for example by default it comes with your mouth inset that you can manipulate you put it on your forehead <laughs> I have a mouth on my forehead. So then you can manipulate the dimensions, the position, the rotation, everything here. Then you can control the inner radius, outer radius, etc. You can play with these settings and um, get the kind of effect you're looking for. Fourth way to do it is by using face geometry modification. That is by going into uh, asset library and looking for face geometry you get face geometry modification import it it says put in ortho cam so we'll go on a little side quest that is adding the ortho cam uh, a little shortcut or a trick i like to say that i use is um instead of going adding a camera and going through the steps I just add a screen image or a screen text it automatically generates a orthographic camera the orthographic layer and everything so once that is done i'll take the region and edit it so now i have a orthographic cam i'll drag this and put it under the ortho, ca ortho cam <laughs> so now we have um, the face geometry controller you can see that my face structure has changed a little bit and now I can kind of use these to control different aspects of my face. 
So by doing things like that, uh, you can distort your face and create different effects. Hope that was helpful. I tried to make a quick tutorial on how to distort your face. And by using things like this, by using a combination of things like this, um, you can make lenses, a face distortion lenses um, like this. I'll, I'll, I say like this, but I'll, I'll show you an example um, now. By the way, before we leave, Okay, bye. See you next time.